The meeting will now come to order. Good morning. Good morning. And welcome to the Hans County Board of Supervisors regular meeting. Today is Monday, March 5th, 2012, and the official time is 9.01. Okay, uh, we will start our meeting with an invocation, and to deliver the invocation, we have the Elder Jerome Anderson of the Word of uh, Truth Kingdom Church. He's present if you come to the podium. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. I just want to say God bless you. And we thank God for each one of you. Uh, let us pray. Gracious Father, we just come in the name of Jesus, Lord, giving you thanks. Give me praise, Lord, for all your wonderful works. Thank you, Lord God, for blessing us all and letting us live to see and behold this day that you have made. For the word says, this is the day that the Lord has made, and we shall rejoice and be glad in it. Father, you said in your word that we should pray for all those that are in authority. And Lord God, we come lifting up this board unto you, Lord, that you would grant them with wisdom Lord, that you would grace them, that they would make uh, decisions that's pleasing unto you. And Father God, as we pray that you would direct them in their decision making, in their affairs for this governing body. Lord, we thank you and we give you praise. We ask your blessing on each and every supervisor, their families, their children. Bless them as only you can, Lord. And Father, we just thank you, Lord, for your grace that is upon this board and upon these people. Bless this time of coming together to discuss the business of the county. Bless them in their affairs in Jesus' name. Amen. 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 Thank you, Elder Anderson. Thank you very much. It's been such a long time since I last saw you. I almost didn't recognize you, so tell the family I said hello. All right, thank you. We will continue with our agenda and um, do we have any bid What about above the no, See, Ms. Price is here representing the Sheriff's Office. Uh, if you want to come and present an item on behalf of the Sheriff, then uh, come to the podium. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, Board President and Board members. I'm here on behalf of the Sheriff's Department for the two items for the agenda, on the agenda. First, this is the reapproval of two vehicles that were approved, I believe, the first week of February. What is happening, we reapproval because we got a, the lease was originally for a monthly payment of $6.99 per month. Because the grant itself was for $600, $700 per month, we didn't want to get too close to it. So we went back in and had to refinance the document and make it to where the payments were about six ninety per month, so we come right under the seven hundred. We didn't want to scale it. We wanted to make sure. Now these vehicles are again paid through the higher grant, so this is not board funds, this is through a grant that the show department receives. Okay. Mm -hmm. What's the pleasure of the board? Second. It's been moved and properly second. Discussion? All in favor? Uh -huh. Opposed? Motion passes. Um, Ms. Carr, are you going to sit in for credit until she comes in? Yes, sir. Okay. Uh, desire to approve the revised interest rate quote of 2.54% for Hancock Bank to lease purchase two dollar land trucks, four by four. The lease will be paid through the hot bank. Okay. Continue, please. Uh, the next item on the agenda is approval of an HIV syphilis testing subgrant agreement with the Mississippi Department of Health. And basically this program is something that the Mississippi Department of Health received funding for in reference to uh, testing for syphilis and HIV in inmates. Now currently the Sheriff's Department does test inmates, uh, what we call conventional testing. It's done maybe about two, maybe one to two weeks after booking. But with this program, the Department of Health has made it where we can, where we can do rapid testing. And what that means is, upon booking, a person is tested for HIV and or syphilis. Uh, we do not pay any cost for this. What happens is Mississippi Department of Health brings in the materials for the testing where they did not previously. They bring us all the materials. Our staff in person 
does the testing. The tests are then sent to Mississippi Department of Health. They come pick them up. They do all the lab work. They, they put down the cost for all the lab work, and they send us the results, and we inform as this. Uh, this is for their reporting purposes. And then after that, at, at the end of each month, we submit them a date an invoice of all persons tested, and the cost is $10 per test. So with an inmate being tested for both, that's two tests, that's $20 per inmate. Therefore, the county recoups that cost at the end of the month. It's received to the, to the general fund, not the sheriff's department. Question. Yes, hey, sir. Any question for Mr. Stubbs? Do we have a copy of the contract? Yes, sir. Uh, it was sent a couple of weeks ago. Can I get one, please? Sure. I believe it is. This is not copy, but it was sent to all the supervisors prior to the last board meeting. Okay, I, I know the, my first concern, and I think it's good because uh, uh, in a confined environment, uh, HIV with syphilis could uh, really, really spread. Yes, and then, we also have for tuberculosis. When you think about some of these same uh, citizens, once they're released from jail, then they can spread it even more out in the communities. So uh, I, I think it's good. Now you're saying that there's not going to be a single charge to the county whatsoever? No, sir. Actually, right now, we do the conventional testing ourselves, and we pay for the lab work and everything. And the thing about it is the materials cost so much that we are trying. We, we pay for the materials ourselves. But with this subgrant, the Mississippi Department of Health will now pay for the materials. So they will give us the materials, consider the syringe and all that good stuff. And then after that, <clears throat> We send hours, they, they come and pick up all the lab work for everything. They do the lab work. And then we actually get, we invoice them at the end of the month for every person, every test that was given, which is $20 per inmate. So if they get two tests. Okay. So it's been moved and properly set. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry, Board President. I would like to have it uh, approved pending board attorney approval because I want her to have further review of the contract. Okay. It's been moved and properly second. Additional discussion? All those in favor of? Right. Opposed to? Motion passes. Will the clerk please read the order? Resolve to approve entry into a contract with the Mississippi Department of Health for HIV syphilis testing in Hines County Detention Centers effective April 1, 2012. Pending the board of terms of review. Thank you very much. Thank you. Mr. Stokes, uh, I think if somebody tell me if I'm wrong, don't we have some kind of rules about uh, HIV and, and can't disclose. Oh yes, yes. Medical, it, it's a, it's a kind of a, one of those typical provisions. But we do not disclose to the public a uh, person's HIV status. But once we find out that these, that these citizens might have uh, HIV, do we have a plan at that point? I know uh, if we deal with this medicine, the cost of medicine is so high. Uh, is there a plan in terms of house arrest? Uh, where they can maybe have multiple phone or something like that? Uh, we currently have a plan together, but what it is is the release of inmates to that sense or, you know, based on medical reason one, it's up to the judge. Okay. We cannot release on that basis. It's Thank the you. judge's determination. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. I notice that we have another elected official present, Mr. Charles Stokes. And Mr. Stokes, do you have an issue? No, sir. Okay. All right. Well, we'll continue with our printed agenda um, for the approval of minutes. Good morning, Board Good morning. President of Board Members. For your approval this morning, we have the minutes of February 21st, 2020. What's the pleasure of the Board? Move for approval. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor of? Aye. Opposed to? No. Motion passes. Okay. All right, we're waiting for uh, Greta to come to uh, do these claims. Uh, to present the claims, but she's not here at the present time, so we will uh, just go directly into our uh, printed agenda and come back to her on the claims. Uh, once she arrives, she's having some computer problems. Um, <coughs> under my name, uh, I have two items, and one of the items is, is the last board meeting, uh, we requested or we gave information to the supervisors uh, regarding an appointment uh, that we needed to make from the uh, Council on Aging for Central Mississippi Planning and Development District. So at this time, I'd like to uh, open the nomination to see if any board member has anyone that they would like to appoint uh, to this particular uh, Council on Aging for Central Mississippi Planning and Development uh, District. The floor is now. 
Is there a motion or a nomination? Okay. There are no motions, no nominations. Uh, what we'll do is uh, we will put this back on the agenda for the next uh, regular or the special meeting. Uh, keep in mind that we do need to appoint someone. That the only stipulation is the person naturally is a Hans County citizen that they're 60 years of age or older and uh, would serve for a period of two years uh, on this particular board. Ms. Clark. Yes, sir. Let's appoint Ms. Clark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think she will support that at this particular point in time. I thought Ms. Clark was 29. <laughs> okay. Oh, no, I'm saying it's <laughs> the next item that I um, have on the agenda is an appointment to the South uh, Central Workforce Board of Commissioners. This is an appointment that uh, needs to be filled by a board supervisor. So at this time, I will take uh, nominations for a board supervisor to fill this position of the South Central Workforce uh, Development Board of Commissioners that will serve for a period of four years. This. Uh, Opening comes as a result of uh, Mr. Smith, who's no longer with us, and he uh, previously served in this uh, particular capacity. Mr. President, I would like to nominate uh, Supervisor uh, Stokes. Okay. Um, it's been moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor of? Aye. Opposed to? Motion passes. Mr. Stokes will receive the nomination and we're given the information regarding the appointment to the Council on Aging for the Central Mississippi Planning and Development District. Uh, before we go to Mr. Anderson, we'll see if Ms. Uh, Greta is ready. Okay. We'll go back and do claims and then we'll come back to Mr. Anderson. Good morning, Mr. President, members of the board, <coughs> the Chancellor Clerk's Office sent to you last week a, the information on today's claims. There are two, two changes to that, but we'll get to that in just a few minutes. The first item in your claims that of interest this morning was an interfund advance. This is an advance to the Law Enforcement Liaison DUI grant in the amount of $1,000, and that is from the General County Fund. Okay. What's the pleasure, Lord? Move for approval. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor of? Aye. Opposed to? No. Motion passes. Thank you very much. The next is also an interfund advance. This is to an advance to catalog of federal domestic assistance grant number 16.803, your Recovery Act grant. And this is from the General County Fund in the amount of $500. Okay. What's the pleasure of the board? Move for approval. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and properly seconded. All those in favor of? Aye. Opposed to? No. Motion passes. Thank you very much. The final interfund advance this morning is the Catalog of Federal Domestic Assistance <clears throat> number 16.738, which is your JET and JAG grants, and this is the amount of $4,500 from the General County Fund. It's a pleasure, Board. Move for approval. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor of? Aye. Opposed to? No. Motion passes. Thank you very much. We have one special claim this morning. This claim is to the uh, to State Aid, which is the Mississippi Department of Transportation. It is in the amount of one hundred fifty thousand dollars, and this is for the Clinton Boulevard additional requirements that State Aid put on there. That the City of Jackson has actually paid this money to the county to be paid to State Aid, and this is for Project SAP twenty five four M. Okay. What's the pleasure, Board? Move for approval. It's been moved. Is there a second? It's been moved and properly second. Question, Question for Mr. Stokes. Uh, the special claim, $150,000, and you mentioned the city of Jackson paid the money to us for us to pay. Uh, what was the project? I'll it's defer to Mr. It's the Clinton Boulevard Resurfacing Project. Um, Federal Highways requires some ADA handicap improvements, and the city of Jackson uh, agreed to pay for that improvements. But we haven't had the project yet, right? Well, uh, it has been started. Uh, it's about 90% completed. We're just waiting for the check so we can have a contract complete the improvements. Now, are we going to uh, pay from the beginning? Well, where would the project start? What would it be? I don't have that information in front of me, but I will get to you. Okay. Thank you. It will end, I believe, down to in state of road. The county actually uh, utilized state aid funds approximately 200 and 
fifty or sixty thousand dollars and stay there. I am in painting, resurfacing that particular area. Um, we had to be in compliance with the ADA requirements. Okay. All right. All those in favor of? Aye. Opposed to? Motion passes. Continue, please. Thank you very much. Your two changes this morning are two additional claims of interest that the board has asked previously for information on. The first one of those is claim number 2771. This is to North Star Wireless in the amount of $63. Okay. What's the pleasure, board? So moved. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. Yeah. It's been moved and properly seconded. All those in favor of? Discussions. Mm -hmm. Discussion, Mr. Stokes. $63 to North Star Wireless for what? Uh, this says it is for a mini mag mount. Uh, this was for the Sheriff's Department, and I can't tell you what a mini mag mount is. <laughs> uh, is this a separate claim from the rest of the claims? We are separating this one out pursuant to the request of a supervisor who wanted uh, North Star Wireless claims uh, handled separately. Okay. Who um, are? I believe that is, is that Stacy Stowers or Mr. Uh, Hargroves? I don't know which one is, is Mr. Hargroves' company? Okay, Nathan Hargroves' company. Okay, so they're doing work for the police department? They are doing, this is coming out of the sheriff's budget. That's right, the sheriff's department for what, a automobile? I, I, I cannot tell you what, uh, all I can tell you is the description on this at this point, Mr. Stokes. All right, thank you. Okay. All those in favor of? Opposed to? No. Motion passes. Not voting, Mr. President. One no, one not voting. Motion passes. Thank you. Thank you very much. <coughs> We're moving on to your claims over $100,000 this morning. The first of those is for your health insurance, which is for United Healthcare through J.P. Morgan Chase, in the amount of $547,846.95. Since this is claim number 2,475, and we present that for your approval at this time. Mr. Pledge of Board. It's been moved. Is there a second? Yes, sir. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor of? Opposed to? No. Motion passes. Thank you very much. <clears throat> we have one other claim of interest on your claims over $100,000 this morning. This is to Motorola. And it is in the amount of $725,216. Uh, $723,500 is for the note for the E911 system for the city of Jackson. And the remaining $1,716 is for your uh, a service to the volunteer fire department. And we present that claim over $100,000 for you this morning. It is claim number 2,714. Okay. Mr. Pleasure of the Board. Move for approval. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor of? Aye. Opposed to? No. Motion passes. Thank you very much. Your remaining claims over $100,000 this morning are claim numbers 2,571 to the City of Jackson in the amount of $176,502.82. This is for motor vehicle rental tax, rail car taxes, privilege penalty, and additional privilege taxes. Claim number 2,586 is to Heinz Community College in the amount of $4,050,000, $70,072.57. This is their January tax settlement. Claim number 2,590 is to the Jackson Separate School District in the amount of $231,811.34. This is for motor vehicle rental tax, rail car taxes, and additional privilege tax. And finally, claim number 2,612 is to the Utica Agricultural High School in the amount of $434,799.20. This is their January tax settlement. We present those claims over $100,000 this morning for your approval. Thank you. What's the pleasure of the board? Sir? It's been moved and properly seconded. All those in favor of? Aye. Opposed to? Motion passes. Did Mr. Stokes vote nay? Yes. Thank you. The last item in your packet from last week is your Frank claims, and they do appear to be in order this morning. Moving on to your regular claims, they are claim numbers 2,470 through 2,000. 
789, less claim numbers 2,475, 2,571, 2,586, 2,590, 2,612, and 2,714, which you've already handled. We present the remaining claims for your approval. Okay, what's the pleasure of the board? Move for approval. It's been moved. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and properly seconded. All those in favor of? Aye. Opposed to? No. Motion passes. Thank you very much. We have the order approving your claims this morning for January, whoopsie, March 5th, 2012. <coughs> and we present that for your uh, approval at this time. Okay, what's the pleasure of the board? Move for approval. It's been moved. Is there a second? <coughs> it's been moved. <coughs> Properly second. All those in favor of? Uh -huh. Opposed to? No. Motion passes. Thank you. We will now go back to our printed agenda and we'll go to Mr. Douglas Anderson, District 2. Ms. Anderson? Uh, I am going to be appointed uh, uh, Mrs. Jackie Donna to the Jackson Harris County Library System Board of Trustees. Second. It's been moved and properly second. All those in favor of? Aye. Opposed to? Motion passes. Okay. Will the clerk please read the order? Okay. Resolved to reappoint Ms. Jackie Garner to the Jackson Heights Library System Board of Trustees for District 2. Okay. Ms. Anderson, continue. Uh, I want to remain busy of the Malachi group. Thank you. Um, 
the Malachi uh, contract, I understand that your position is that um, your company was supposed to do a feasibility study on whether or not the project is a sound project or not. Correct. You know, my, my concern is that uh, I support that idea because I keep hearing that uh, it's not going to be a completed project uh, the, the parkway. Now, if it's not going to be a completed project, why do we keep spending money? I know we're doing phases, but, you know, if the study is going to let us know whether or not it's going to be completed, then we should move forward with the study. Now, I understand we have people to look at monies in terms of whether bonds or whatever we're going to do, but what good are we going to have people pay them to look at bonds and those things if it's not going to become a reality? So, you know, I think that we should. Uh, let's do the study and let's find out if it's going to be a completed uh, project or not. And I know mm -hmm. right now we're looking at uh, uh, trying to get money from the state and chances of debt is slim to none. And we're trying to get federal money and chances of debt is slim to none. And, you know, then you're looking at possibility of money and the city of Jackson always said they're not going to support the money issue. So somewhere down the line, we need to get something saying, yes, this is going to move forward. No, it's not. And this is going to do that, I support Okay, Mrs. Calhoun. Uh, spending over $200,000 would absolutely be wasteful spending on the taxpayers of Hines County. I've been talking with our economic development executive director. A lot of the information that will be provided is already accessible to Hines County or anybody that uh, would, would like to receive that information. As a matter of fact, a lot of the information uh, can be found in our census, our 2010 uh, census data. As a matter of fact, we have a mini study already in place that will support the growth of the uh, corridor. Uh, your company, Malachi, the Malachi Group <coughs> Company provides advising information on scheduling of bond payments, etc. Rice, the Rice Group is an underwriting company on the issues of bonds. Neither company is a consultant to provide feasibility studies. Now, if you come up with a feasibility study, then it's because you went out and hired a third party to do the study. So, uh, again, if you have done any work in which last week, uh, uh, I'm sorry, two weeks ago, you mentioned that, uh, if, I'm, if I'm correct, you indicated that because you kind of stalled before replying that no work has, has been done. I also know that Wagner Engineering uh, firm had not done any work in that regard. So uh, there were three companies named. It was Rice, well, I know the Malachi and the Wagner group were named to provide a feasibility study. Cool. Let, let me uh, go to Mr. Fisher and then we'll come back to you. And then uh, we'll quit and do this. Um, for Mr. Fisher. Yeah, I, uh, I was. Ms. Calhoun touched on it at the end. It was mentioned in the last meeting that there was no work done at that point uh, by the Malachi representative. And I was told before the meeting and in the past that no work had been done by Wagner, by their, by their representative. So uh, this kind of, it, it, that's what we were told anyway. So uh, that may, might have been a mistake, but that's what we were told. And uh, so I just wanted to clear that up. She brought, she brought it up there at the end. And, uh, so. Okay. Is there any other supervisor that would like to make a statement or comment uh, regarding this particular issue? Yes, before I make the motion. Mr. Stokes. Uh, Mr. President, uh, I have a 
seen the contract. I don't have a copy of it. I hope I can get a copy of it.